Hey there, I'm Allie Weinberg, ABC's Capitol Hill producer. I'm here in Baltimore, Maryland at the GOP Congressional Retreat, but I stumbled upon something just below their Congressional ret Retreat that I wanted to show you all. Literally, as Republicans are plotting their political survival, we are stumbling into a Tombstone Manufacturers Convention. This is the North Atlantic Monuments Association. And uh, take a look around with me. As you can see, all the latest styles of, of uh, tombstones uh, for, uh, for the uh, perusal of folks in the industry. And uh, as I said, just right above where we are is where Republicans are meeting. You can't make this stuff up. I actually ran into a congressman who was lost his way and wandered into the room back there and he said is this a shortcut and then he looked inside the room and saw the tombstones and said uh, I definitely don't think it is so now we're gonna walk from the tombstone convention over there to where the press is talking to Republican members of Congress right now uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around this is uh, the beautiful Baltimore Inner Harbor. Uh, it is a pretty cold day out here. Not exactly the kind of weather that you might expect for uh, when you think of a retreat. You might think of uh, warm weather and some uh, golfing maybe, maybe some, uh, some cosmopolitans or something like that, but not so here. It's pretty chilly. As you can see, here are all the manufacturers that are listed uh, making the tombstone. So in case anybody needs a tombstone, this is the place to be, the Mid-Atlantic Monument Builders Convention. Now I'm going to take you downstairs for an escalator ride, and as we're doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the actual convention, what we're seeing here. We've heard today from some of the uh, top congressional leaders in the House and Senate, and what they've said is that they want 2016 to be the year of ideas for both the House and Senate Republicans, that even if they don't have control of the White House, and even if they can't get a lot of the priorities that they want passed, legislation-wise, like repealing Obamacare and, and uh, cutting off funding for Planned Parenthood, they at least want to show the American people that they're trying, that they're not going to stop trying to pass bills just because they don't have control of the White House. We also talked to some leaders about uh, the effect that Donald Trump is having right now, whether or not his agenda and what he's saying is harming uh, congressional Republicans as they try to uh, uh, hold on to some critical seats in the Senate. But they said no, Donald Trump really isn't a factor in this this conversation that as with all Republican, uh, with all presidential uh, races, uh, things get a little uh, heated. Uh, as you can see right now, there's a there's an interview going on, so we want to be a little quiet. And now I'm going to take you into the room where, uh, where Republicans are coming to talk to us. Uh, this is the room where right now uh, nothing's going on, but as you can see, this is where folks like uh, Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan are going to be speaking to us in uh, just under half an hour. And over here on this side, this is where uh, my fellow members of the press are, are stationed and uh, we're all filing away on stories trying to get you the biggest updates, which you can uh, read about on abcnews.com. As always, I'm Allie Weinberg with ABC News Digital.